Hello ladies, it's Patricia, also known as God's Design One, here on YouTube and welcome to my channel. I uh, wanted to come in and show you guys what my hair looks like after sporting that quickly for like a week and a half. Anyway, I know you guys may have some trouble with what to do, you know, with your hair after you have been sporting a protective style for a while. Sometimes tangles become an issue, whether, you know, after you take down braids, um, extension braids or twists or... Um, kinky twist or something like that and you don't know what to do you don't want to you know experience much much breakage but you know there's a lot of shed hair mixed in there and so that's basically what this video is about to you know give you guys a little help um, as to what to do and what works for me question that naturals often have is how do I know it's shedding and how I know it's breakage it's a, it's a shed hair with a little tiny white bulb at the end of it that's how you know it's shed and it's not break if you see no bulb then it's breakage and you need to do something about that you know so ooh, got an itch on hand what I say what I, what I would say that is important is a conditioner your favorite oils um, a bowl to mix uh, a spoon to mix and some clips to help keep your hair in sections. Let's get started. I'm I have with me a bowl here. My dad is blasting like Kumba music. I hope you guys aren't too distracted by it. But uh, yeah, us Haitians we love our Kumba. A bowl doesn't matter, just a bowl. Your favorite oil. In here I have olive oil. And I also am going to put avocado oil. And it really doesn't matter which one you want to use. Both of these have good conditioning effects. They both have vitamin E in them. And avocado has vitamin A, D, I believe, as well. And it also has some proteins in there to um, help strengthen the hair. And I also read that these work well together. So that's why I'm using these particular oils. But it doesn't matter what, you know... It's whatever you want to use. Also, your favorite cheapo conditioner that's, you know, has good slip and is, you know, smells good too, so you don't have to be, your nose doesn't have to be in pain as you're trying to pre poo your hair. And I'm going to be using the Suave Naturals. This is the refreshing waterfall mix, mist. My favorite one is the coconut, but I'm out of it and this is all I have. But this smells really, really good. That's why I really love using this when I actually do co wash because the fact that it smells so good. But I also use the VO5 moisture milks. Like, you know, I have, I have them. I do. And so what you do is you just put a generous amount of the conditioner. That wasn't me. That was this. That wasn't me. Don't, don't. Just eyeball it. It's as much as you think you need for your head of hair. So that's about how much uh, I have. And I'm going to go ahead and add the oil. And it's really just to your liking. I'm going to add that much olive oil. And then just a few drops of the, well not a few drops, of the avocado oil. It actually, it's quite a few bit of drops. And avocado oil also has some UV protection agents in it. So it helps to protect your hair against the sun rays, which is something you should be concerned about during the summertime, especially if you spend a lot of time in the sun. Just try to get it as mixed as you possibly can. So this is what it looks like, the texture of it. And as you can see, the oil is all mixed in there. Now what you do, you go ahead and you section your hair off. And I'm gonna work on this back section first. I don't know why I like starting in the back, but it doesn't have to be a small set. Ooh, this is snugging, uh-uh. Yeah, snugging, snagging, snip, whatever. Anyway, it was pulling on my hair. Okay, guys, I have two twists done already. And so let me just explain to you what I'm doing. I'm taking a section of hair about this uh, size. Could be bigger, smaller, depending on your length and your hair density. I'm going to add some of the water, a generous amount. And then we're going to go ahead and add the mixture. Uh, make sure you get those ends. Show them some love. And then you just go ahead and twist. Twist all the way down. That is all you do. Guys, don't be alarmed if you see a lot of hairs in your hands um, or everywhere. It is your shed hair. Hopefully not breakage. Um, don't be afraid to let it, to let it go. Just, just let it go. Okay, if you have some extra conditioner, 
I always overdo it on the conditioner, like faithfully I do. Just take some in your hand after you've done all your twists. Rub it in and just coat the twist, okay? And while I'm doing this, I'm going to tell you guys, um, it's time for sh to shampoo after you do this. And basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and shampoo. You're concentrating on your roots, okay? Up here, in here. That's how you're going to do it. Just concentrate on your, ooh, that feels good. Mm. Concentrate on your roots. And uh, make sure you get all that clean. Then one by one, and I'm not, I'm not going to get in the shower, I'll just... That's my personal time <laughs> or anything and show you guys, but I'm going to go do it and then I'm going to come back. But I'm going to tell you guys how to do it. Maybe two twists at a time. Just unravel them. And with the shampoo still in your hair, go ahead and rinse your hair out so you can get rid of this, um, you know, conditioner on your, on your hair. Now don't rough it up, you know, don't scrub, don't rub it up, rough it up. Just allow the shampoo to run down your strand. I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back to show you guys how it worked out for me. All right guys, I'm back and I finished shampooing my hair and now it's time to detangle, okay? And I'm working with these two twists. I'm gonna take one out. Now remember guys, this hair is freshly shampooed and has been in braids for one and a half weeks and has shed hair all in it. This is supposed to be highly uh, matted and tangly but this method it just helps like I'm telling you that I just opened it and now I'm about to detangle the hair okay you could use a power brush you can use a comb I have both of them here with me starting from the ends just detangle on up and look how easy that is there's no leave in just yet but I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to come to get through your hair so after you do protective styles this is a really good way of preventing any further breakage by you tugging at your hair and all that unnecessary mess now I have my heavy curly here with me and I'm gonna take a dime sized amount about that and put in the hair and what I now here is the second twist that I am unraveling right now. Ooh, see that? See that? Shed hair. There it is. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my comb, and this is before I put in my leave-in, and just glide on straight through the hair. Just like that. I can now add my leave-in. Now, I usually add my leave-in first just because it's going to make it a lot easier. But I just want to show you guys how easy it is to get through your hair even without the leave-in conditioner. It is uh, finished being twisted. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of that olive oil that's left in uh, this little container here. And a little bit of the avocado oil again. And I'm going to go ahead and seal my hair. So from here, I'm just going to pin my hair up. I'm going to pin it up a certain way. I'll leave pictures at the end. But guys, thanks for watching. I hope it helped. Let me know if you have any questions down in the description box below. I'll see you next time with another video. And as always, God bless.